guess, the British champion. How are you feeling after that? I'm really, really happy. I came in as um, probably favourite, but actually coming out and doing it is a whole different story. And it's windy out there. Um, so yeah, absolutely over the moon. Yeah, that feeling of, of being favourite, how does that sit with you? It's probably something um, quite new as well. It's new territory for sure. So um, I definitely felt the pressure, um, but in a good way, nothing unmanageable. But it's just coming out and obviously with the hurdles, you've got 10 barriers to get over. and. Yeah, it's never easy. So yeah, I just kind of gave it everything in quite windy and cold condition. I'm really happy. Yeah, tell me about the race. 5580 was the winning time. How did you feel going round? Um, to be honest, I must admit, I did find it quite hard. Um, coming into the home straight, normally I'm quite close to the hurdles and I was stretching a bit. Um, but I wanted to come and run a 55 because although some girls are missing, typically that's what it's won in. So I just felt like I wanted to come and do like a worthy performance for a British champion. So I'm really happy. <laughs> it's been such a whirlwind year for you. Where does this sit in terms of your achievements? Obviously, um, this year has just been a dream come true, even with the pandemic, because I had my kind of breakthrough indoors, and even with missing like having no coach for three months and no track for two months, and. Um, I still have actually been able to come and perform so it just gives me hope that next year hopefully perfect preparations and um, hopefully even quicker that would be the hope so yeah I'm just enjoying every moment. So continuing to run a flat and hurdles you know wh where do you see that and do you, do you intend to continue with both going forward? Um, I will I am a four hurdler I think this year's made me realise that and um, but obviously indoors I will always do the four flat and the hope is some relay runs so the dream would be hurdles individually and then relay um, for the flat so yeah that would be the dream but we'll see <laughs> so you know you're coming still continuing with teaching aren't you on a part-time basis yeah. so tell me about that I guess and the challenges from, posed by that yeah I mean to be honest I love my job and I love athletics so I think now I'm going down to three days it will just be perfect and this year has been hard um, and now having this breakthrough you kind of think I'm 26 now and um, I can do teaching for the rest of my life whereas like running this is it really now or never so I'm really happy I'm going part-time I think it's the right decision yeah, so you've got some new people that are waiting to Meet as yeah, well. how, how yeah. much are you looking forward to getting? Um, I honestly can't wait to meet them. I've heard such good things. So I'm going down to a year four teacher this year, and four money. I literally can't wait to meet them on Thursday. I just find it's also been a difficult year for athletes, difficult year for school children as well. How good is it that events like this exist and we continue to keep that positivity going despite um, the pandemic? Definitely. I mean, like my children were very like disappointed when the Olympics were cancelled because they were like, oh no, like I thought you were going. So I'd actually really like to do it for them because I think the whole school are with me along the way. Like they're kind of messaging me before the race I've got all the parents watching all the children so I think let's do it for all of them as well 